CataractCoach.com, Morgagnian Cataract Technique. Now, these cases can be very tricky. Here's how to proceed. Look at that pre-op picture. Wowza. Now, you can see this is a very white cataract. It's intumescent. A lot of the lens material has liquefied into this material. So what you're left with is a dense little central endonucleus that's floating within this bag of fluid. That's the Morgagnon cataract. Now, cataractcoach.com is your favorite, but there's also retinarounds.com. Check it out. Also at youtube.com slash at retinarounds. And you write a video every single day. It's great for retina specialists, but also great for cataract doctors like me and you. Check it out. I promise you'll love it. You'll learn a lot. Five minutes a day. You know the format. Now, Back in the case here, you're going to start off with a needle decompression here, going in with a hollow bore needle, poking the lens nucleus there, or the lens capsule. Look at the milk coming out. Aspirate, aspirate, aspirate. What's the risk of Argentinian flag sign here? It's actually pretty low because this is an intumescent cataract, meaning fluid, fluid-filled, intumescent, but it's not highly pressurized. The capsule bag is not very pressurized at all. So in a case like this, Again, you have so much of the lens material that's liquefied and some of it's been absorbed. And then there's a central little endonucleus that now in your video here is going to be sunsetting. Let me show you that. So aspirate out this fluid. Look at this. It comes out fast and easy. Oh, my gosh. Look at all that fluid coming out. All of a sudden, you have a view. And now, look, you've got a sunsetted lens nucleus. Now, what I like to do is inject some viscoelastic, of course, in the anterior chamber, but also a little bit of viscoelastic in the capsular bag. Why? we got to replace some of the volume that's lost. That liquefied lens material that you used aspirin is lost. And you'll have a lot easier time getting a rexus done if you replace some of that volume. Again, by injecting viscoelastic in the anterior chamber, of course, like we always do, but also some viscoelastic in the capsular bag. Now, this surgeon is doing a beautiful job here of getting a rexus done. Look at this. This is fantastic. And not so easy. Again, with the, with, look how small the nucleus is. And the nucleus is partially sun-centered in your view. And we'll see the whole nucleus as we start doing the FACO. But getting a beautiful Rex is done here. This is great control. Now switching to forceps and grabbing that with the forceps. Let's finish that Rex is up. This is a very nice technique and a good-looking Rex. is really good-looking, actually. Just get it done. And again, the risk of Argentinian flag sign here is kind of low. So it's not something I'd stress about. You just want to get a nice looking rexus. That is it. Now, this nucleus, I'd want to get it up out of the capsule bag. Look at that thing. Yeah, push it centrally. I like that idea. That's a good idea for sure. Faco probe going in the eye now. And let's see. Buzz in. Maybe some chop technique. Again, I want to get this thing up, up, up. Tilt it partially out of the bag if you can. There is a good buzz, good grip. Bring it up. Chopper going behind it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Good, good, good. I like the beautiful technique. I'm like a cheerleader here. I'm having so much fun. You know how much fun I have looking at these videos. I, I love this stuff. So now you've kind of broken it up. But again, there's some density to that central endonucleus, that endo nugget, if you will. So as a result, it's kind of still attached. But certain here is being persistent, buzzing in again with a FACO Pro, bringing that piece. There you go, buzzing again. Get the chopper behind. Oh, I love it. I love that. Break that thing up. Chip, chop, flip, flop. Get that thing, you know, aspirated down. As I say, wolf it down. Now, piece is coming down nice and easy. Nice and easy. This is not a tough case. But you just got to know how to do it. And can you imagine how happy the patient's going to be from going from, like, either hand motion or light perception, or if you move your hand fast enough, it's wind perception, right? Think about it. Anyway, if... Some of you will get my joke. Some of you will think I'm crazy. But finishing up the case here. Now, more viscoelastic. I like this idea because you're putting viscoelastic here to protect the capsule bag. You just don't want the probe to come in contact with that. And I get the probe in the eye. Uh, center up the camera a little bit, please. And now let's just aspirate these pieces down. A little bit of phaco energy. They're not super dense. You're using the bigger sleeve, too, by the way. It's the purple sleeve. It's probably a 2.75 or 2.8 millimeter incision. And it would be great to center up the camera at this point. And now taking out the pieces here. All right, last couple of pieces going down the port. And then what are you going to do for a lens here? Listen, these pages are going to be so happy with a monofocal lens. Heck, I'd be happy with a monofocal lens. So just the lens calcs here, obviously you can't do an optical method of measuring the axial length. So you're going to have to use an A-scan. 
But if the other eye can measure, be measured optically, we'll then measure the other eye optically and then measure both eyes with the ultrasound. And on the eye, the opposite eye that you couldn't measure optically, was your ultrasound measurement almost the same? Well, great. Then your technique and your calibration, all that was okay. And now you can trust it for the other eye. Now, if you can't even figure all that out, let's just say, what's the worst case scenario? Well, use the calcs of the other eye and maybe add a half or one diopter to the eyewall power. You know, a pinch of myopia is not a bad thing. Now, here we go. Last few pieces coming out. Look at that clean bag. Looking good. Oh, very nicely done. So that is a morgagnon cataract. So morgagnon cataract means so much of the lens material, all the lens cortex, and even the lens epinucleus has been liquefied. And you're left with this dense central endonucleus that's kind of floating in this bag of liquefied lens material. Here's the monofocal lens going inside the eye. Get that in the capsular bag. Make sure it's all the way in the bag. Do not want this in the sulcus. Maybe you want both haptics and the optic in the back, capsule bag completely. Looking good. Now let's take out the remaining viscoelastic by manual IA here. Again, there's really not going to be much cortex to be removed. And look at that Rexus 2 overlap in the optic 360. You go. This surgeon did a beautiful job. I commend you, doctor, and thank you so much for sending the video in. You can send your video in too. The way you send it in is you go to cataractcoach.com. I say it at the beginning of every video. Ready? Cataractcoach.com. And there's a link right there, and you'll figure it out. Anyway, remember, check out cataracoach.com. And, of course, also retinarounds.com. You're going to love it.